Next up at UFC Vegas 71, we got Mario Batista taking on Guido Canetti. Mario Batista 11 and 2 overall, 4 and 1 in his last 5 riding a 3 fight win streak. He's taking on Guido Canetti 10 and 6 overall, 2 and 3 in his last 5. He is coming off that submission win over Randy Costa. People got mad at me in my quick picks when I said Guido sort of like literally fell into that Randy Costa submission. Like he lucked out with that submission. People got like pissed at me. Like he took Randy down I'm not and methodically worked for us. Or submission. let you disparage a former lock of the week. So Guido Canetti? Is he mm-hmm. Chris Motino? <laughs> that was the easy literally I think that literally <laughs> was the easiest lock of the week of all time. I'm like, holy shit, how is Chris Motino? <laughs> After yeah. that performance against Sugar, how is he the favorite? I don't care who he's fighting. I should have been the favorite versus him in that. Holy he shit. He got hit two hundred and ninety seven oh times God. and didn't fall down until the three hundredth, and they're like, hey, this guy's good. This oh, guy's good. Jesus. Anyway, Mario Batista's he's high volume. He's a good he's a bit of a brawler. Give one to take one. Take one to give one style. He does set a pace. He's always coming forward. He is light on his feet. And he's just making things happen. He's also evolving. He's got seven takedowns in his last three fights, which are sort of a new wrinkle. And he's coming off a submission win over Benito Lopez, where he hit him hard. He had clean takedowns. He just dominated that fight. Guido Canetti, we just mentioned, has some life blasted into. He's 43. Dude, 43 years old at this weight class as a striker. That is shocking. And he doesn't really look worn. I mean, he doesn't look worn down. I mean, when he gets there, he, he gets there. Not only that, he's been competing in combat sports literally his entire life. Since he was a child, he's been competing in combat sports. So you'd think he was more used up than he is. But he... um, Him and me both. I I heard it the first time, and I just kept moving because I'm like, okay. No, but then you said he's more used up. Him and me both. I said That's why I said it again. Oh, See how it just goes over your head? See how the the comedy level intelligence? Oh, you're definitely much smarter than I am. Clip it and, and ship it, guys. And I appreciate clip everything that. you someone do. Clip, go ahead and, and someone I, clip that if you don't mind. And I appreciate <laughs> everything me on Twitter, you please. do to make all of this work mm. with that big old brain of yours. Mm. Like mm. when you were negotiating for a raise like an idiot. Mm. Literally screwing mm. yourself. I had to protect you from yourself in that. Mm. Okay, stop with the sex noises. Well, I like when you talk about me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This podcast does <laughs> <laughs> Has everyone left? Is it just us? <laughs> <laughs> Let me it's like, just us. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we may not have left. even clicked live yeah. at this point. Anyway, Guido Canetti, he had found himself into a two-fight win streak, but he beat Chris Motino. And Randy Cosa, Randy Cosa is actually solid, but that submission, he just sort of flopped himself into it. Mara Batista is a minus 950 favorite. This should be a bow nickel line. Like, he should blow through Guido Canetti. He can outgrapple him. He may not technical outstrike him because Guido Canetti is, a, is actually a very technical striker, but he can certainly come in, hit hard, blast up his legs, take him down, do what he wants to do. Mara Batista is absolutely the pick. Um, you know, you hate to see lines take off like this. Like it was just minus 600 the other day. Just a few days ago, it was minus 600 when I put together the, um, uh, well, I'm not, not going to say, but when I put some stuff together just a few days ago, Ooh. he was... He was still affordable, and now that's starting to move a little bit. What do you think, Jake? Boy, obviously you think Mario wins, but do you think there's any shot wow, Guido wins? Spoilers, or? huh? Jesus, oh my you god! You started it off that way. Mm. Yeah, I do think I, I do think Mario wins. But, but here's my advice to Mario: is is wrestle. I, I, I would I would shoot a takedown. I must mean, not force a takedown, but shoot a takedown and get this fight to the ground as fast as you can because Guido Canetti is not a guy that messes around. I mean, this guy gets in there and throws with absolute heat and is looking for a finish inside of 30 seconds of every single fight. He's almost like the the Rafael Alves of, of the Bantamweight division, the way that he gets there and throws bombs. And, and Mario Batista, you don't want to mess around with that. He is the much better... I mean, he literally is the better striker, but sometimes that doesn't matter when people are throwing the way that Guido Canetti throws in those first rounds. So get that early takedown, do your ground and pound, do what you got to do on the ground there. If anything, that'll wear him out and the power won't quite be there if you want to strike later but i would get this fight to the ground as quick as possible that's what guido should do i mean that's what mario should do and he should dominate this matchup but you know if 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 he tries to start brawling with guido weirder things have happened i hear you almost as weird as this dude not understanding a single thing that we said before sorry christ you misunderstood stupid fuck (laughs) (laughs) 
Is he talking anyway, about when I said he was my lock of the week previously? Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, listen, you can't. Sucks to suck, Jacob. Mm. Mario Batista, ninety seven hundred dollars, which is crazy. Bo Nickel was ninety six. Mario you know, Bo Nickel only got that takedown because he need him in the nuts. You see that? <laughs> yeah, dude, the people. I saw the vid. I saw the video today. I was like, oh shit! Because did you did you see the video? No. He literally, Jamie Pickett literally goes, oh, and then he's, whoa, and then he gets tossed down to the ground. Literally, because he's like, he's like, boom, like strong with the position, gets knee and just folds. And as he's folding, that's when Bo flips around, takes him down. It was actually like, even because he, because then he got back to his feet and he was like, ah, like trying to grab his nuts. It was not good. It was not a good look. I, it was inevitable. Yeah, yeah, it, it was probably inevitable. was, but Jamie was defending pretty well. Well, anyway, ninety-seven hundred dollars for Mario Batista. Bonica was ninety-six hundred dollars, and Bonica was a two thousand favorite that uh, was a minus whatever to win under one and a half. Mario Batista is a ninety-seven hundred dollar fighter, one of the most expensive ones we have ever seen. I think he's probably still worth it because I think he'll win. I think he's the perfect so, combination, oh, especially on this card. Yeah, it's it's there's not a lot of people you can truly trust on this card, and I think he's going to absolutely beat the piss out of Guido for a little while and then finish him. Meaning the Bo Nickel thing, the reason we were like, Bo Nickel's going to be tricky because if he gets a takedown and doesn't do much, like Bo Nickel scored well, but he was not the highest scorer on that card at 285. Mario Batista may be the highest scorer on this card because he who can was? get some takedowns, drop him, beat him up. And Toronto. then no, who was, was uh, that new guy. With 29 takedowns. Oh. That was the first card. Rivovic and Babak. That, that was the first fight of the night. That was the highest score on the entire card. 9,000 uh-huh. points. Anyway, um, you literally did. Who was? Were your words? Don't remember. That's very different than didn't. I know my truth. Mario Batista, probably worth it for your DraftKings. You can have him in there. Yeah, I don't know why we're still in this fight. Probably because we got sidetracked 11 times with all the random crap that you do. Not me. 